Hey, so, um, someone asked me, ignore whatever is here, someone asked me, uh, how I do some of my effects on my logos, and I asked him what exactly he wanted to know about them, and he said just pretty much whatever I did to his logo, so I'm gonna make, or teach you guys how to it's kind of like a smoke effect. Oh, I don't, I don't know what I called it. Uh, and then I'm gonna teach how to put like scratches within the logo. So I'm just gonna start a uh, new thing and get half of the size just for a logo real quick. I'm just gonna mess with the shape. This isn't black, oops. Oh. Oh. So I don't need something too complicated right now. So we'll just stick with this. Okay, so what I do with the scratches, it's it's pretty basic. I just go into Google. Uh, grunge texture HD. You want to stick to HD because if it's not HD and you try to expand it, then it's going to be really nasty. And just copy the image. <laughs> Create a new layer. Press Control V. And if you can, like if it's possible, expand it to the point, to the size of the logo. And you just go down back to the other layer, and then go back, or press, hold down control, and click on the shape, and then go up to the other layer, press control X, create a new layer, press control V, get rid of the layer you just took away from. Okay, now I'm gonna figure out what color I want my bottom layer to be. I'll just go with red. There. Okay. So now you're gonna figure out what you want for this part. Multiply, additive, color burn. I usually do overlay. Uh, I learned a cool one was reflect and glow. So let's go with glow. Okay. Um. Okay, now I'm just gonna, oh wait, go ahead and duplicate that bottom layer, or the outline, pretty much. Go to effects, uh, tools, and then liquify. And you're just gonna like mess with it a whole lot, but not so much to the point where it's a tiny little ball. Okay, so once done, it should look a little bit like this. Just like, funky, I guess. And you want to make sure it's at the very bottom. Okay, now you're going to go back into effects. Go to tools again and click smudge. Now you're just going to, like, mess with it really bad. Okay. So now it looks like that. I'm just going to press OK. Give it like a minute to load. And if you don't like it at the bottom, just move it all the way to the top and figure out which one you think it looks best with. Oh jeez. I think darker is my best friend right now. Okay. So there's that. Now we're just going to add a text in it. I'll leave where I get all my fonts from in the description. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Okay. I'll make that black.
Seems good enough. Okay. I'm gonna screw with the layer again. That'll maybe let me. Okay, I'll just stick with reflect. Now I'm gonna duplicate that layer. Go to the bottom. Um, wait, move it down. Go back into effects and basically just do what I did. Smudge it. I don't think you have to liquefy it for uh, letters. It's never made a difference for me. Yep, so that's that. Pretty basic stuff. Uh, pretty easy effects. You can pretty much put anything back here in the background.